The rise of the Steelers, challenges against the Bills, the Pittsburgh Steelers are gearing up for their second of three preseason games, hosting the Buffalo Bills on Thursday. This matchup follows a joint practice that raised several questions about the team. What can fans expect from the Steelers when the final whistle blows on Saturday night? Could Van Jefferson be WR2? Although there are rumors of a possible trade for a new wide receiver, the Steelers are banking on Van Jefferson to complement George Pickens in the offense. Jefferson boasts a season with over 800 receiving yards and a Super Bowl ring, making him a reliable target for quarterbacks like Justin Fields and Russell Wilson throughout the summer. If he maintains this performance against the Bills' defense on Saturday, doubts about the Steelers' receiving core might be dispelled. Is Justin Fields on the path to be the starting QB? Russell Wilson is slated to start Saturday night, expected to play four series. However, coach Mike Tomlin is keeping a close watch and if Wilson makes mistakes, he might give Fields a chance sooner than expected. Even if Wilson performs well, Fields has the opportunity to impress and intensify the competition for the starting quarterback position. Who will be CB2? Joey Porter Jr. is established as the Steelers' top cornerback, but the second position remains open. Dante Jackson, brought in to partner with Porter Jr., has been limited by an injury, allowing Corey Trice Jr. to train with the first team. Trice, returning from a season-ending injury, has seized the opportunity, and a strong performance against the Bills' offense could secure his spot in the starting lineup. The Steelers are ready to test their strategies and players against a challenging opponent. With so many key positions still undecided, the game against the Bills will be crucial in defining the team's lineup before the regular season kicks off. And you, Steelers fans, what are your expectations for the game? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news and analysis on the Steelers.